Welcome to an overview of ADS's updated QStart software, QStart XML. QStart XML supports the configuration and activation of ADS Echo, RainAlert 3, and Triton Plus monitors only. For the Triton Plus monitor, QStart XML only supports firmware release 6.4 and higher. For the Echo monitor, QStart XML only supports firmware release 8.09 and higher. QStart XML has a red logo to distinguish it from the older version of QStart, which has the green logo. When you launch QStart XML for the first time, you are directed to the settings screen. This is where you define your project folder. The data path is where your data is stored. Note that if you are a user of the older QStart, you must designate a separate DAT folder. Name it xdat for example. Then set up your communication ports, your units of measure, whether it's English or metric. Also specify how you want to save the data, whether in the ADS binary format, CSV format, or both. Now let's take a look at the QStart XML screen. Customers have appreciated the one-page interface. In this upper right corner, you'll find the available functions. With the push of a button, you can collect data, retrieve data from your meter. QStart XML also has data viewing capabilities by clicking on the Data button. The data is presented both in hydrograph and tabular format. Let me also mention the Logs button. Here you have available logs listed alphabetically. QStart XML still has the useful Upload function. Upload will connect to the monitor and upload the monitor's configuration. QStart will compare the monitor information to what you have on the field computer and give you a warning if the parameters are different. It will give you peace of mind knowing that you can synchronize your computer settings to that in the monitor. Let's take a look at how easy it is to configure a monitor. QStart XML has a monitor section where you can configure an Echo, Triton Plus, and RainAlert 3. There is a monitoring point section where you can designate different sensors in two different pipes, monitoring point one and monitoring point two. And then you have the devices section. This is where you define what devices are connected to the monitor. Let's create a new Triton Plus location. I'll click on New. I'll call this location Huntsville underscore location one. Note that the underscore no longer creates subfolders. Let's type in the serial number, the IP address if I'm connecting wirelessly, the sample rate, and notice now for Triton Plus you can designate a manhole depth. Now let's enter parameters for the monitoring point section. This is a 42 inch pipe. And notice that there is an area to enter the GPS coordinates in decimal format. Now enter the devices. There is a time zone device for Triton Plus meters. You can designate the time zone, synchronizing time to a cellular tower, and whether you honor the daylight savings rule for this meter. Before we save all of our parameters for this monitor setup, I can choose to designate at the sensor level what is used for unit depth and velocity, the average velocity. Note that QStart XML does not create a raw VEL entity for the peak and combo velocity sensors. It stores the entity velocity instead. The default setting of auto allows the firmware to choose the best choice for unit depth and velocity. Let's click save. To activate the new monitor, select activate. The activate process downloads all of these parameters down to the monitor level. Now the monitor is configured and activated. It's that easy. Imagine a project with many, many locations. You can set up a template by clicking Set as Default. 
And then all you have to do as you move from location to location is to click on new. It pulls up the default parameters and you just enter in the new location name, serial number, IP address, and pipe dimensions. If your project has alarming requirements, add the device alarms and then populate the information of interest. You may also set up data delivery so that the meter can push data to PRISM and up to two FTP sites at normal and fast rates. That concludes the overview of the QSTART XML software. To learn more about QSTART XML, you can download the Quick Reference Guide directly from the ADS website. There is also an online help embedded in the software. You can send us an email with questions or requests for more information at ADS Support Center at idexcorp.com. Thank you.